the goal of this short video is to get you started with forecasting capability in PowerView for Office 365. So let's go ahead and forecast over United States data. So how do we forecast? Basically, all we need to do is click the arrow or drag the dot. We can roll back at any time. You will notice that we have now forecast setting introduced as part of the analysis pane. We will go back to those soon. We'll also notice that once we forecast, we have another arrow on the left. This is the Hindcast capability. Hindcast shows how forecast would have predicted recent past from the vantage point of the past. So how do we Hindcast? Basically, similar to forecast, all we need to do is click the arrow, and we can also drag the little dot and set it to a particular point. And we can see that the lighter shade line represents the forecast or the Hindcast line, while the darker line represent the historical original data. Let's reset the Hindcast by double clicking the dot. PowerView automatically detected the data seasonality, or in other words, the full cycle, data cycle between dips and peaks. So for instance, for the United States, we can see that this is a data cycle. And we identified a yearly data cycle as expected. 12 units represent 12 months as the time difference between two data points. And this line chart is one month. Now, while PowerView automatically detects data seasonality, you can override this setting. You can basically set it to any common seasonality setting available and check whether that improves the forecast accuracy or set it back to auto. Now, the confidence interval or standard deviation section basically allows you to visually measure the forecast accuracy. So let's go ahead and do that. Use the slider and set the standard deviation between 0, 1, 2, or 3. And basically, the visual range here represent the expected values for one standard deviation. Another capability that we introduced only with forecast at this point is adjusting outliers and exploring what if scenario. You can grab a data point on the line chart and move it vertically up and down and set it to a particular point. You will notice that the forecast adjusts accordingly. The overrides are used for the purpose of forecast only. They do not impact your data model in any way. So you can feel safe to explore what if scenarios and explore the forecasting results. A few more things to keep in mind is that it is currently limited to a single line chart, a single line in a line chart, where the x-axis must be of type date time or uniformly increasing whole numbers. There is another capability to keep in mind, which is data auto-completion. PowerView will automatically complete missing rows or missing data introduced in your data model or by filtering the data. So for instance, if I go ahead and filter on Japan, I will get the birth trend of Japan, even if I had uh, missing rows in the data. 